WordPress login pages are vulnerable to hackers. In this video, I will show you how hackers break in using brute force dictionary attacks. This knowledge is crucial for site owners and administrators, but remember, hacking without permission is illegal. This is the site we are going to attack. I own this site. How do I know it's WordPress? Well, one, I built it, but two, if I didn't, what I could do is copy the URL, subradar.io, and if I enter it into this site here, builtwith.com, and scroll down a bit, it does an analysis of this site, and we can see that it is WordPress Content Management System. Now, because it's a WordPress site, if in the URL we put a forward slash and type WP admin, we get the login form. This is a form that's very familiar to any WordPress user, and we're going to hack it with a brute force dictionary attack. Like many of you, I'm using Windows. And in order to carry out this attack, we need to build a virtual machine. And to do this, I'm going to use VirtualBox. So step one in the process is head to virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox. Pretty easy to, to get started with it. You're just going to have a executable file that's going to install it. And once you've, once you've done that, it's going to look something like this. And for VirtualBox, that's pretty much it. Yours will look just like this, with the exception of you won't have this Kali Linux environment running. And that's what we're going to do next. Now you need to head to Kali.org. Once you get here, just click on Get Kali. This is a super common pen testing Linux distribution. It has all the tools we need. So once you go to the Get Kali page, you want to click on Virtual Machines, and then we want the one called VirtualBox. Now, I'm not going to click it because I've already downloaded mine, but when you do start the download, it's going to take a considerable amount of time. It's quite a big file. Now, eventually, when that file downloads, you want to right-click on it and just go to Extract All, do the extraction process so VirtualBox can access the actual file it needs to configure that virtual environment. Once all the files have been extracted successfully and you navigate to them, they will look something like this. Then with our virtual box, just open it back up, click this green plus button and navigate to the folder where you have these extracted files. And it will show one or two of these files, probably the blue ones. And when you click on it, it's going to install the Kali Linux machine. All right, our next step is we need to get an API token for WP Scan. WP Scan is going to allow us to analyze the vulnerabilities of the plugin and the WordPress build that we're running on. So once you head here, just click on Get Started, and you will see this researcher plan start for free. Click on it, sign up, and once you've done that, you will get to this page here and you can copy the token. So just press Copy and paste it somewhere that you can access later because you will need it. If your installation was successful, you should now be able to log into your Kali Linux machine. So as you can see, my instance is actually running. So if I click on it, it's going to fire it up. The default username is Kali and the default password is Kali. So I'm just going to add in Kali here to get access. We'll unlock it, just enlarge it. Once you're in here, what you need to do is open up the terminal window just by clicking on this little black icon up the top. And now we can start analyzing the vulnerabilities of our WordPress build and the plugins associated with it. So we're going to be using WP Scan to detect our vulnerabilities and get information about our target site. So the command we're going to enter in at the terminal is WP Scan dash dash URL, and then our target website. And then we have this enumerate the vulnerable plugins. And then we have the WP Scan API token that we just got. So down here, there's a bit of a legend in terms of what all of these elements do. WP Scan is the security tool and it is designed specifically for analyzing WordPress sites. The, the URL, that's pretty self-explanatory. The E and the VP, this is the E is the enumeration flag. It's the 
parameter that's combined with VP that tells WPScan we want to analyze vulnerable plugins, and the P tells WPScan that we want to look at the installed and active ones. It just speeds up the process. Detections mixed. This sets the method for detecting plugins to mix, which combines passive and aggressive detection techniques, which gives you better results, basically. And the token. All right, let's run it and see what happens. All right, so I've just pasted in the command we've gone through here, and let's see what happens. So the scan has completed. Let's take a look and see what it tells us. It has some header information. The robots.txt file was found. Now we can also see the WordPress version. We're running version 6.7.2. And as shown here, it is the latest version. You would think it would be secure, but that would be wrong. Some of you, if you're running older versions of WordPress, like five point something, you may see vulnerabilities here or insecure. If that's the case, you want to deep dive on that, investigate what the issue is and see if you can either patch it or upgrade. Next, we can also see the theme. So we've got WordPress theme in use is 2025 and it's slightly out of date. I think we're running version 1.0, but now it's up to 1.1. Now, coming down further, you're going to notice a bit of red. So this is in the plugins identified section. If you've got a site with a lot of plugins, you're going to have a whole lot more information than what you're seeing here. But it's identified there is a vulnerability with one of the plugins that's been installed, and it is vulnerable to what's called a cross-site scripting attack. We want to take note of this information, but what we need to find out now is the users. If we can identify the users of this WordPress site, it's going to make it a lot easier to attack because we only have to determine the password. So let's see if we can find the users. So to determine our users, we need to run a new scan. And this time we're going to use WP scan with a dash dash URL, our website, and then dash dash enumerate space U. Now, again, WP Scan is our security scanning tool. There's our website, subradar.io, and then we're going to enumerate, and the U tells WP Scan to enumerate the users. So I'm going to copy the command. We're going to go back to Kali and run it. Okay, so I've got the command here. I just need to press Enter, and away it goes. And that only took about five seconds. Under this section here, users identified, we can see there is one user here called user, and there is another user called sub radar. So we can use this information now to set up our dictionary brute force attack. So in summary, from our WP scan, we know the version is 6.7.2. We know the theme. We also know there is a vulnerable plugin but the most important thing for us now is we do know the names of two users in this WordPress instance. So we're going to go after the user subradar and see if we can crack their password. All right, to carry out the brute force password attack, we do need a new command and it's going to involve using a dictionary file. Now, the file we're going to be using is called rocku.txt. This was a result of a hack in around 2009, and it contains over 14 million passwords. To run this file against our instance to see if we can get a match for the user subradar, we just enter in wpscan dash dash URL, the domain dash dash passwords, this file path, and then dash dash user names subradar. We can run that, but first I'll quickly show you how to make sure you have the rocku.txt file. Okay, we just want to check we actually have the rocku.txt file. To do that, you can run this command here, ls space dash la, and then this path to the word list folder, and then just hit enter. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of word lists, but the one we're after here is this one here, rocku.txt. So we have it. Now, if you don't have it, at the command line, you can run this here, and it's going to give you an update to to bring the updated packages into your Kali environment. 
and then run this one here sudo atp sorry sudo apt install word lists and then run this one again and you should have it if you have any questions or problems with it just drop them in the comments all right now we can run our command to see if we can brute force this password using a dictionary attack so the command line's been entered here so let's run it now this can take quite some time because it may iterate through millions before it actually finds a match or it may not find a match at all so we will just wait and see what happens okay so the scan has finished it actually didn't take very long and if we go up to the section again where we've got a little bit of red here valid combination found we've got for the username subradar we have a password of password one two three so it's found a match this should get us in back over on our target website which is subradar.io i can type in password one two three for the username subradar and we should get access and that's it we are in wordpress so at this point you might want to know how do i secure wordpress I hope it's pretty clear that WordPress is hackable. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it. I've only showed you one here. But if you're thinking about alternatives, one good alternative is gitpage.site. It is an AI website builder. You can generate unlimited sites. You can add a custom domain for free. There is no subscription. There is just a small one-time fee to get started. But I get it. If you want to continue using WordPress, then there's a couple of easy options. One is install this plugin here, WP2FA, and set up two-factor authentication. That way, if your password is cracked, the attacker still cannot get access unless they have the other code. I hope you've got a lot of value from this video. If you did, it would be amazing if you gave it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.